He was afflicted from birth with extreme farsightedness, and ever since has been using it for the benefit of all mankind. To the young, he is a combination superman and saint. To the middle-aged, he represents hope for the future. To the old, he personifies hard work and wisdom. To the world at large, he is Buckminster Fuller. He was born in New England. He comes from a line of lawyers and preachers who attack the social and moral problems of the New World. Buckminster Fuller, man of the sea, is architect, historian, poet, teacher, and engineer. architecture has gained new meaning. His geodesic dome has proved the lightest, strongest, most efficient means of enclosing space yet devised. It now covers more of the Earth's surface than any other single kind of clear span structure. The first of his domes was built in 1952. Since then, they have been withstanding hurricanes in Florida, heavy snows in Alaska, and earthquakes in California. They've been used for many purposes in 60 countries around the world. Roundhouses, churches, theaters, exhibition areas, business buildings, and houses. They stand on the permafrost of the Arctic and the ice plateau of the Antarctic. Fuller's genius led to many early disappointments and frustrations. Notable were the Dymaxion car and the Dymaxion house, which captains of industry rejected as premature. His ideas were far ahead of the nation's technology. Only today are we beginning to put Fuller's ideas and principles to greater use in managing our resources and planning our environment. We're going from an east-west world to a north-south world where 90% of humanity can reach each other in the shortest air routes without going near the Atlantic or the Pacific or the Indian Ocean. And Alaska is right on the very, getting to be a sort of the center. At 76, Bucky Fuller spends much of his time lecturing to students all over the world. Recently, he traveled to Alaska to give the Bartlett Lecture in a state where vast changes are taking place. It's, it's very pleasant to be warmly greeted. I want, however, to be sure as I start thinking out loud with you that you, uh, you don't think that I have any misconception myself I'm 76, so I think possibly I can re recollect something about myself possibly for 73 years. <laughs> and uh, having been familiar with myself for 73 years, I'm not impressed by any of the information we've had. <laughs> <laughs> the word synergy is the only word that has its particular meaning. And what it means is there's a strong spiritual undercurrent in Fuller's ideas, and his search for universal order has led him to incorporate much of what he believes into his designs. Buckminster Fuller has lived to see a skeptical world come to believe in him, and his idea that man was born to succeed. There is increasing reason to feel that Spaceship Earth, his phrase, is speeding toward the universal vision of Buckminster Fuller. <laughs> 